Hi, this is uh, Andy Wilshire. Uh, new to YouTube, I've only done a couple of short videos. Uh, I was inspired by uh, New Junction, Dean Park Station, Everard Junction, Dudley Central, Cheeky Tech and Strathpeffer Junction. Um, they all do uh, excellent videos, uh, really inspirational stuff on there. They've got uh, excellent layouts. Uh, I've not got that far yet. Um, purely uh, not enough charm in the day with a toddler around the house. Um, I've got um, got into uh, doing electronics, sound fits, uh, fitting extra lights. Um, I started doing it for other people, um, but I used. I uh, started off following uh, Martin Clayden. He's got a YouTube channel. Um, but he's got a website www.dcc-updates.uk um, He's got circuit diagrams, uh, how he's updated the models, uh, he's done the MPV, Class 43s, you name it. There's loads of steam locos and DMUs, uh, locos loads on there uh, so have a look at his website um, I use that as a basis for the MPV I've done the, quite a few of them now for myself and other people um, so I've modified his design slightly um, and in, uh, improved on it in my eyes a, li a little bit um, but his website is still brilliant I use Lego Man Bifo decoders uh, from DEDC kits. Um, I work uh, with Lego Man Bifo on a class 73 at the moment, um, and I'll do a video uh, on that. But uh, without further ado, I'll uh, talk you through what I've done to uh, the MPV to the rear. Um, Started off with a rail track MPV, uh, as you can see in front of you, that's a standard Batman model. Going pretty cheap sometimes uh, from rails of Sheffield, uh, a little bit more for the network rail one, um, but it depends what area you're modelling. So that's a standard Batman MPV, and uh, this is the, the finished article, this is the, after I've uh, modified it fitted the sound. Uh, my mate, the customer I'm doing this for, uh, he had someone else respray the cabs. I'm quite new to airbrushing so I didn't feel confident doing that. So he got someone else to spray the cab ends pink, fit the decals uh, for Southwest Trains pink livery. Um, so starting with the uh, main drive unit it's a standard 20 by 40 speaker, but it's in a sealed uh, custom enclosure in the subframe underneath. So it takes up about half this space. There's a little bit of air volume. Um, and then you've got the motor at the front. So while we're looking underneath, I don't know if you can quite pick it out, but you've got a nano LED. It's a 0603 SMD LED. I get these off uh, eBay, uh, you can get 20 in a pack, pre-wired with 0.01mm uh, um, copper enamelled wire. Um, and that's what I've used for the rest of the model as well. Um, on the front of the model, uh, I don't know if you could picks it out, um, but I've also updated the lighting uh, I'll show you it working, but uh, on the later MPVs, it uses uh, a bimodal marker stroke tail light. So the inner two lights are the markers and the tail lights, and the outside markers aren't used any longer. But I'll show you that working. So, what I've done to the model. On all the floodlight locations, and I think there's around 20 of them, like there, there, 
so there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, five floodlight locations on the modules just on this unit, and I've fitted two nano LEDs on each floodlight location, all DCC controlled. So I'll just start it. Well, I'll show you the floodlights. So that's all the floodlight locations all lit up. I'll show you the headlights. Just move this round a little bit. And I've even gone to the trouble of fitting, uh, as per the prototype, the ability to switch between night headlight and day headlight. If you're in a station, I can press F12 and that does uh, parking rears at both ends. So if you're stationary uh, in a station and it's got permissive working, so you can bring another train right up to it close and normally display parking rears at both ends. Um, also fitted directional cab light that's uh, linked to uh, its speed so if it starts to pull away uh, the cab light will extinguish, extinguish so if I change ends it just goes to the other end I'll just uh, start it up so it sounds pretty impressive That's the horn. Just, uh, it takes a little while to pull away because it uh, simulates the uh, handbrake coming off, which is done by uh, a little uh, motor. So Bring it back the other way, and hopefully you can pick out the detonator flash. So, look at man before he's got some uh, quite a variety of sounds on here. Uh, you've got the spray when it's up to speed. Uh, it's got this excellent drive hold function, so I activate that. It'll never like it's having to work hard. You release the button. So when drive holds activated. The speed of the train remains constant, but the revs you can alter with the standard uh, throttle control. So you can uh, make it really work hard and it will stay the same speed. And then once you release the function, it will accelerate or decelerate up to that speed. You've got another thing as well. An electric horn, sirens, APU, Really impressive Lego Man Bifo sound. There's a lot of playability there. Um, there's a lot of different um, throttle positions, um, so it doesn't just sound like it's on or off. Um, 
it's pretty playable. Um, uh, so I've added hopefully a bit more realism, a few more functions, um, and when you've got this going past, uh, quite a dimly lit layout. All the floodlights uh, do really light up the uh, layout pretty well. Um, my mate who I'm doing this for, he's got a modern image layout. Um, and uh, it really sort of looks the part. Um, I've done a few DMUs which I'm going to do some videos for now as well. Um, which are utilize all the lighting functions to, um, for auxiliary lighting outputs you can use. I've used them on the DMUs. Um, if you're wondering what I'm doing with the uh, rail track MPV, if I'm just going to fit lights to it, um, I'm doing something a bit different with that one. Um, I'm doing that one and another one I've got for a mate of mine who I'm fitting, uh, what? Doing away with um, one of the units, taking the cab off. Get this out of the way. So I'm taking the cab off one of the the dummy unit, putting it on the end of that, and creating a roof and a structure on there, and it will become DR nine eight zero zero eight, which is uh, in network rail yellow. And it's got various scanning equipment on it, uh, cameras uh, on both ends at the front uh, and recording equipment in the middle. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing with this rail track unit. Um, I've also got in a pipeline. Um, in 2005, Network Rail did a trial with uh, MPV units, uh, a timber trial. Uh, to chirk, uh, so I'm replicating that and getting some OTA wagons, um, taking off the units on this and running that as uh, this timber trail, which is like a, a one-off. Uh, they only did a couple in real life uh, test trains, so I thought that would be something a little bit different. Okay, if you've got any questions, message me, um, or if you're interested in getting one done, just message me on here, and I'll get back to you. Thanks, bye.